Friday news. Uh, watching winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. You know, the Dow was up almost 50 points, and uh, then we had a little turn here with the telecom stocks uh, leading things lower. Dow now down 21. We could have three straight losing days. Uh, watching winners and losers with our financial expert Rob Black. And uh, Rob, starting with Bank of America. That was a big lawsuit slapped against them yesterday. Absolutely. Um, and this is a story that is great for the media. It's not necessarily great for Wall Street. And ultimately, Bank of America, the market, housing market has crumbled. Everyone is trying to point fingers at this point in time. Government, government officials are trying to throw a billion dollar lawsuit. Uh, basically, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were sold wow. product that was was supposed to be toll roaded, uh, toll booth to slow it down, you know, vet it, find out if it's good debt, bad debt. Uh, we all got crazy in the 2000s in real estate, and we're still paying for it. And the case of the government against Bank of America is unique in the large part because Bank of America was aggressive. They acquired Countrywide Financial, which was run by a guy named Lou Mozilla, who basically would, you know, okay, any mortgage. I don't know who we blame here, Mark. Yeah. Do you blame the person? I, I grew up saying don't buy more than two and a half times your income for a home. Uh, do you blame the bankers for giving the loans? Do you blame the people for trying to keep up with the Joneses? Things that uh, have blamed to go around for everyone, isn't there? It seems that way. Yeah. All right, let's so. talk about Microsoft. And uh, so Windows 8 coming out today. Microsoft just can't seem to generate the buzz that Apple generates with their products. And they have this new tablet coming out today, Surface, that's almost more like a computer. Yeah, and it, uh, the base mode, the base unit, has basically 16 gigs of memory, but almost eight gigs of that is tied up to the operating system. So Windows operating system is at stake here. This is an $18 billion business. Um, the growth of mobile phones, smartphones, has been huge with computing um, in the last five years. The growth of tablets in the last two to three, huge. And the PC is becoming odd. It and is, the laptop is, is weird. Now, the, the Surface is getting amazing reviews. People are loving it. Uh, with that said, I, I, I can't say go out and invest in Microsoft. The dividend's nice and attractive, uh, but we do seem to be going a lot more mobile. We've cut the cord, so to speak, and uh, I don't see that trend going away. Do you think we'll see Apple in a position in 10 years now, from now, like Microsoft's in? You know, they haven't really had any killer products, but they've been surviving on the huge amount of cash they had, and uh, still doing pretty well. I mean, is Apple, you think, a name? well, we'll see, I guess. The last five years have been good to Apple. Yes. 10 years ago, though, we we're talking companies like AOL. So things yeah. change aggressively and often in the world of technology every five years. Let's talk about hockey. Got some new information for us here on the NHL season. Is it going to happen? 82 game season is not going to happen. Oh. Now the next big thing that we might lose would be the uh, New Year's Day game. That would be a classic. winter classic. Yeah, it's a great game. To lose. The outdoor game. Yeah, so Gary Bettman, uh, this is an interesting you know, conversation and I kind of wish I had a Canadian beer you know, Molson's talking to you about it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, these players are played, paid incredibly well to play a game. Absolutely. Most of the owners made their money in things like AOL, not necessarily in hockey. So it's a business that you can't blame the owners for trying to make some money in. But then again, you can't blame the players for not trying to get as much as they want or can. Um, it's, it's frustrating. And yeah. big loser, you and I, yep. they say the owners are not that, they don't want to start anytime soon. Why? Because the, we're all focused on the World Series right now in the uh, NFL. And their, their market is so niche. Maybe they need to go to a shorter season that starts later in the year. It's a real shame. Well, let's talk about uh, back to baseball and the San Francisco Giants. And that Hunter Pence hit where he broke the bat yeah. and they hit the ball. The ball hit the bat three times. What happened? They sold the bat for $400 by mistake? Yeah, during the game, okay. they actually go and get stuff that's used on the field, and the San Francisco Giants sold it for $400. <laughs> uh, Hunter Pence actually names his bat. This bat was named Fryer. It Poor was Fryer. used to hit a home run earlier in the ALCS. Um, Pence tried to find his old buddy, Fryer, tried to get hooked back up. He wants to show it to his kids. The Giants had sold it to a couple of uh, season ticket fans. The season ticket fans gave the bat back. They understand. Well, they did. They, they get it. And they, Last night, they watched the World Series Game 1 in a luxury box oh. with a bat signed by Hunter Pence. That's a pretty good trade-off. And the way Hunter Pence is hitting, any bat that he's actually hit a ball with. Uh, now, they probably could have sold it on eBay for a lot more money. Okay. That's the financial lesson that you have to learn. All right. And that beard. Not working on Hunter Pence too well. All right. No. Thank you, Rob. Darry. All right. 9.19 is the time. And as we are... One of the greatest things about a mobile phone is having all sorts of...